Hello, everyone. Uh, once again, this is Teacher Hamza, and um, I'm coming in with uh, some pure mathematics today, which is a concept of trigonometry. And uh, today, I would like to discuss trigonometry of, uh, of uh, ratios of angles, which are 30, 60, and 45. And these are the angles I'm talking about. As you can see, these ratios, uh, you clearly can see that um, if you consider an equilateral triangle, an equilateral triangle is one which has all sides equal and all vertices uh, have 30 degrees. I mean, 60 degrees. If all vertices have 60 degrees, what does that mean? It means that if I bisect vertex, vertex C with a perpendicular bisector to a point N down here, then this side will be halved at the vertex C by angle 30, even this one by angle 30. Then if I extract out this triangle, which is right angled, which is C and B, I get this triangle. And from that triangle, we can look for NC to see how it came about to have a side to D. So if you looked at NC using Pythagoras theorem plus NB using Pythagoras theorem, you realize mm -hmm. BC is given by that. And with this NC, can be got from BC is 2A, but squared, minus any B, which is S squared. Then finally, your NC can be got from the square root of 4A squared minus S squared, which NC can confirm that actually this is root 3 of A. So that's how the A root 3 came about. Having realized the NC from this very triangle, which is the right angle triangle we have extracted out, we can, we can have the ratio sine of, for example, 60, which is supposed to be equal to NC out of the hypotenuse, which is BC, whereby NC is going to be A root of 3 divided by BC, which is actually 2A. With this, you can divide off the A with this one, and finally, the sine of 60 degrees is always actually root of three out of two. What if you're to investigate uh, the sine of 30? The sine of 30, uh, 30 is up here, so its opposite is going to be NB because sine is opposite over hypotenuse out of BC, and this is going to give us A divided by 2A. And when you divide by the A's, sine of 30 is always equal to a half. Furthermore, if you go to cosine of 60, the cosine of 60 is the adjacent, which is NB, divided by the hypotenuse, which is BC. This will give me a divided by 2A. The A can be lost, and therefore the cosine of 60 is always equal to a half. And this consequently shows you that the cosine of 60 is the same as the sine of 30, which is the same as saying it is sine of 90 minus 60. We shall see further more on that. Otherwise, this can conclude that cos of Theta is always equal to the same as sine of 90 minus that same angle. And the reverse is true. Sine of, of theta is also equal to the cosine of 90 minus that angle. Furthermore, mm -hmm. we can also get the cosine of 30 mm -hmm. to confirm the last statement. Cosine of 30 is going to be the adjacent of 30, which is NC divided by the hypotenuse, which is BC. And this is actually going to give us root of 3A divided by 2A. I lose the A, therefore cos of 30 is equal to root 3 out of 2, which is the same as sine of what? 60. That is why I was saying sine of 60 or sine of an angle is always equal to cos of 90 minus that angle. Now, if you consider a right angle triangle, 
which will predict 45 degrees. And in this right angle triangle, you take a look at uh, this as 90, then this one would be 45. This is 45, which a right angle triangle has not been constructed from an equilateral triangle. If it was an equilateral triangle, the bottom angle would be 60. But because it's not from an equilateral, an equilateral triangle, it is from an isosceles triangle of this side A and this one A, then this side would be C, which is equal to A of root two. If this side is equal to A root two, uh, let me perfect this. So if this is A root two, then one can investigate sine 45. If this is P, Q, R, then sine 45 is equal to PR out of the hypotenuse, which is going to be QR. But PR is small a, the hypotenuse is a root two. Therefore, when I lose the a, sine of 45 is always equal to one over root two. If you investigate the cosine of 45, cosine of 45 is going to be PQ, out of the hypotenuse, which is QR. And this is also going to be A out of A root of two. When I lose this with that, I can confirm that cosine of 45 is actually also equal to one over root two. With this, we can conclude that cos of 45 is the same as sine of 45. And with that sense, the answer is always one over root two. With this knowledge, you can now deduce the tangent of 45 as one. You can deduce the tangent of 30 as one over root three. You can deduce that the tangent of 60 is actually root three. So with that, we have seen what we call the ratios of, uh, of angles, which are 30, 60, and 45 as per trigonometry. And still, my name is Hamza Obama, and I would like to thank everyone who has attended and watched this video. Please like it and share it and visit my YouTube channel for further discussions and further topics. With that, have a good day. Thank you.